So the size of your different data types may vary from system to system and operating system and may vary based on your compiler if you're using another compiler. Earlier I had said that an integer data type is 32 bits long and that can change depending on what type of system you're on. So it could be 16 bits all the way to 32 bits and if you look at the Wikipedia page which is a pretty good reference for some data types and you look at int it says uh, that it is at least 16 bits. I'll include a reference to this page, but this is a good reference uh, for the different data types that you can use and how big they are. So to find out how big it actually is on your system, what you can do, one way to do it is to use the size of function in C. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that for a couple of different data types really quickly. So I've got a skeleton set up, the traditional skeleton, and I will save this file as I will save it as type type size dot c and I'll save it just to get some syntax highlighting which I like so whenever you want to print the size of a data type in C you can use the size of function and the first size that I'll print is integer and the type the data type return by the size of function is a size underscore t its size t so this is a new data type and this size t is used to hold values of different objects on the operating system so it's similar to an integer but not not really an integer it's typically unsigned depending on your operating system it may be an integer it may be a long but it's typically unsigned um, so if you want to print a type size underscore t you use the zu and we'll do size of int so this will print the size of integer on our system so I'll save it go to my window and compile it and run it and we can see that the size of integer is four bytes on this system and I'll show you how to print additional data types so let's go back to the Wikipedia page just so you can do this on your own if you want to uh, another commonly used data type is uh, the long data type which typically gives you more bits to hold your number and then another data type you may want to try is float and care so those are some popular ones so just real quickly we'll just print those values as well and let's do care and save it and let's go ahead and compile it again and here we print the size of each data type in bytes so here we can see integers four bytes on this system long is eight bytes float is four bytes and care is one byte and I'm running a 64-bit instance of Ubuntu and you can do this and repeat it for any data type that's in the list here or any data types that are potentially not listed. I'll include at the bottom links to the Wikipedia page and this source if you're interested in that.